Okay, so decluttering your devices. So I'll start by going over the table of contents for this presentation. First, we have why you should declutter your devices. And then I'll go more into how you would go about decluttering certain devices. And the devices we'll be going over today are HP or window laptop, um, Macs, smartphones, and, such as iPhones and Androids. So reasons to declutter your device. Organizing your digital, digital space is just as important as organizing your physical space. Just like how you would organize your desk or your room, for similar reasons, you would organize your digital space. The longer you use your smartphone, laptop, and slash or tablet, the more space that will be taken up and the harder it will be to navigate through your files, folders, and apps, and the slower your device will become. By cleaning up your device from time to time, it will speed up the device and make it easier to locate anything you may need. It really feels like a weight off your shoulders when you declutter your device. So I'll start off by going over the ways to free up space on your laptop. You can delete or uninstall unused apps. You can clean up your disk, login items and system files empty your trash slash recycling bin, or you can delete excess files, folders, photos, videos, downloads, etc. You'll find that the largest space wasters on your device are usually files and folders that you don't really use or need that you've forgotten about. So that's why it's important to declutter your device periodically so you can delete these space wasters. How to know how full your Windows laptop or computer is. First, you open up File Explorer, which should be at the bottom of your screen, and the icon looks like this. Then you find the Windows C under Devices and Drives, and it looks like this. Under it, under the Windows C, it says how much storage is being used and how much free space you have left on your device. For Macs, on the under, other hand, um, the way you see how full your device is, is by clicking the Apple icon located on the top left corner of your screen, then clicking About This Mac. From there, these options should pop up and you just click Storage. So something like this should pop up for everyone. It may look different depending on what device you're using but it basically tells you the same thing as window devices, how much space is being used and how much you have left. But on Macs, you can actually see which programs are taking up the most space, which I think is really handy in helping you prioritize what programs you should declutter first. How to delete files on your computer slash laptop. So this is the same for Macs and Windows, except on Windows, you open File Explorer, which is represented by this icon. And on Macs, you open up Finder, which is represented by this icon. Then you just right click on the file you'd like to remove and a drop down menu should appear. In that drop down menu, you should see the delete button. And once you click that, you delete the file. If you open up your recycling bin or your trash in the home page of your laptop or computer, you'll see all of your deleted files. From here, you can permanently delete them by emptying your trash or recycl recycling bin periodically. You can also recover any, any files that you may have accidentally deleted, so I think it's a good feature. How to organize apps on your Windows computer slash laptop. So to do this, from the home page of your computer, you can click and drag the icons of the apps to move them around your screen as you'd like. You can also drag the important ones that you use most frequently to the menu bar that's located at the top or bottom of your screen, and it'll stay there. To open up that app, 
You just have to click it once from the menu bar and it'll open up. For Mac computers and laptops, you have to open Finder. Then you click on Applications, which should be in the menu bar located to the left of your screen. To add an application to your doc, which is located at the bottom of your screen and looks like this. All you have to do is click and hold on the app, then drag it down to the dock. You can move the apps around on the dock by once again, clicking and dragging them, um, just in case you want to rearrange them or change the order. To remove an app from the dock, you click and drag the app to the trash bin. Now, when I say click and drag the app to the trash bin, it might, it might sound like you're deleting it, but don't worry if it's from the dock, you won't be deleting. If you do, however, want to delete or uninstall an app, you just go to a finder window, then you either right click on the app and click move to trash, or you just click on the app and drag it to the trash can. How to organize your files and folders on a computer slash laptop. First, you open File Explorer. Then you right click on a blank space where you want your file to go. After that, you move your mouse to where it says New File, which should be at the top of your screen. And then you click on it to create a new one. If you want to name the folder, all you have to do is right click on it. And then a drop down box should appear. And in that drop down menu, there should be a button that says rename. Once you click on it, you'll be able to write in the little box under the folder. And after you rename it, you just click enter to save it. If you want to move a file to a different location, all you have to do is click on it, hold it, and drag it to wherever you want it to be. And then you let go of your mouse. To move files into a folder, you once again click, hold, and then drag the file and drop it into the folder of your choosing. If you want to delete a file, just right click on it, and then a drop down menu should appear. And in that drop down menu, it'll say delete, and you just click delete. If that didn't make too much sense, there will be a live demo at the end of this presentation where I'll just show you how to do this. Now moving on to how to do a disk cleanup on window computers and laptops. First, you go to the file explorer and right click on the window C icon like we saw at the beginning of the presentation. It looks exactly like this. Once you right click on it, a drop down menu will appear and you click on properties. Once you click on properties, this will appear. From here, you click on Disk Cleanup, which is located right here. After that, the Disk Cleaner will pop up and you can check off any of the boxes you'd like to delete. Usually, the files that come up on the Disk Cleaner are files that you haven't touched in a while, so you don't really have to worry about deleting anything important. However, it's still necessary to go through whatever you're deleting and making sure that you won't need it in the future. After you finalize what you want to delete, you click OK, then delete the files, and click OK once again to close the cleaner. Next is how to clean up system files on Windows computers slash laptops. First, open up File Explorer, then you right click on the words that say Windows C again. And then the drop down menu will appear once again and you click on properties. But this time when the properties open up, you click on clean up system files. After that, you check off the boxes of the files that you want to delete. And there should be a check mark inside of the box once you have clicked it, just letting you know that you've selected that and that's the file that you want to delete. After that, you click OK, then delete files, and then once again, once again, OK to close it. Next is for Mac files and how to optimize and manage them. 
The optimized storage features on your Mac can help you save storage space by storing your content in the iCloud and making it available on demand. So to do this, all you have to do is click the Apple icon in the top left corner of your screen. Then you click on about this Mac and then storage, and then you click on manage. From there, you have to make sure that optimized storage and empty trash automatically are toggled on. And what this means is that making sure they're working by checking if they're turned on. After that, you click review files, which is next to reduce clutter to browse through all of the files on your computer and see how much space they're taking up. Now I'll be moving on to the smartphone storage section of this presentation. And to start that off, um, I'll go over how to know how full your smartphone storage is. So to do that, all you have to do is go to the settings app and then you click on storage. If you can't find storage, you can search up um, the word storage in the settings app at the top of the app. Once you click on storage, It'll take you to a page where it shows how many apps and files you have download, downloaded, how much storage each individual app is taking up. And you can also see how much storage overall you have left and how much you've taken up. Ways to free up space on your smartphone. You can delete apps, music, downloads, documents, and photos, clear caches, or you can use the optimizer. How to delete an app on your smartphone. First, you tap and hold on the app that you want to delete. And once you do this, the app should begin to shake. So don't, don't worry or be alarmed. If it does start to shake, it's supposed to happen. Next, there should be a button that says delete or uninstall now. And what you want to do is click that. Once you click it, it may ask you if you're sure you want to uninstall this app. And if you are, just click OK. How to delete photos and videos. First, go to your gallery or photos app. Then click on an album to see the photos within the album. Then you just tap and hold on any of the folders or any of the photos you wish to delete. You can select multiple at a time so it's more convenient for you. Then once you've selected all of your photos, tap the delete button that appears at the top of your screen and looks like a trash can icon. How to delete music off your phone for Android users. First, go to the app store and look up file manager, then download the app. And once it's finished downloading, you open it. Click on music and all of your downloaded songs should be there. After that, you find songs that you don't want anymore or really listen to, and you click on a check mark beside the song. After that, you click the delete button or the trash icon and it deletes the songs. Now, what can, optimize, what can the optimizer option do on your phone? It cleans up your junk and system files. It scans for anything to be cleaned up, it shows how much data you have if you use data. Um, it shows your blocked users. It can do a virus scan. It shows how long your phone battery will last. It scans your performance, security, battery, and device management. And it can fix anything that's not working properly. How to clear caches on your phone. So for those of you who don't know what caches are, they're basically special storage units inside of apps on your phone that store data from when you've previously used the app. It helps make the app run a lot more efficiently, but it isn't necessary to make the app function. So if it is taking up a lot of storage, you can clear it. And how you would go about doing that is going to your device settings, choose apps, then you click on an often used app such as Google Chrome, for example, then you click on storage. After that, a clear cache icon should pop up at the bottom of the corner. 
and you just have to press that. Then you just repeat these steps for the other apps on your device. Lastly is how to organize your apps. By tapping and holding your finger on a particular app, you can start to move it around and where you like on the screen. You can add an app to your home screen, uninstall, or drag it to another place on your screen if you'd like. If you drag one app on top of another, it'll actually create a folder. You can name the folder and place more apps into it. And it's a great way to minimize your phone screen and organize your apps into categories. Okay, so all I did to get here was click the file explorer right at the bottom of my screen. That looks like this. So from here, if you click on this PC right over here, it'll show the Windows C drive that we talked about at the beginning of the presentation. And it shows you how much storage you've used so far. So for me, I've used a little more than half of the storage on my device. Now I'll go over how to create folders. So you go into an already existing folder. Um, I'll just go into this one since, it, since it's empty. And you click on new folder, which is located at the top of the screen here. Once you click it, it appears and you have a new folder. If you start typing, you can name the folder anything you want. I'll just name it Cyber Seniors. And now you have a folder to add other files into. Um, I'll just add a file to show you. So what you wanna do is click on the file, hold it, and then you'll be able to drag it anywhere. So I'll add it to the file I just created by hovering over it and then dropping it into there. So now when I open the file, it's in there. To delete a file or a folder, you just have to right click on it. And as I said a lot in the presentation, a drop down menu will appear and there's a delete button right over here. So you just click it and it deletes it. And the same thing goes for a folder if you want to delete it. You right click, the drop down menu appears, and then you just click delete once again. So that concludes the live demonstration.